Hello, so, um, this is part two of my, uh, train tutorial. So, yeah, so today we'll work on bog bogies that make these tracks work. So, I'm just gonna create a folder and I'll just call it tracks. Just put all these parts in here. And I'll create some basic bogies. So I usually create bogies like that. I bring this and I create a sphere. And these will be our gliders. Bring this up like that. And we will put it right about there. And now I can see smaller. And I sit down like that. This. And you have your gliders. So now go into the model and create a weld. By doing weld, weld this there, create another. And you have your welds. You can do show welds, string details. Um, after you have that, you can duplicate and rotate like that. And put it on the opposite side. Have uh, yeah. Now that you have that, you can put all these together, or just duplicate them. The other side, like that. So this is a basic. Yeah, I use didn't use it, but yeah. And you can fit as a model, and you have your bogey. I'll just rename this to call it bogey and we'll place it under our train right about there and like that and you can add another one side like that now what you want to do is train is turning obviously going to derail because the bogey doesn't turn so what you can do is put a hinge, put it on like this to on top of there, that, that for the other one as well, put it on like that, the one on top of that. This. Okay. Now that you have that, you can place it on your rails. Actually, you got to put the bits inside of the model first, like, and you'll have your train model. So what I can do now is center center the tracks. Let me unlock it. I'll put this right where the tracks, right where the sliders align. Probably like that. Change the scaling to 0 0.5. And fit right there. This one there. So it lines up. Now, if I test it, it should work. Oh, so it seems like the thing might be a bit too. So you need to line it up. 
directly, but might require a bit more test testing. Point one. Just point one studs. That and let me test it. It should work and not fall through. As you can see, we have our sliders. If you want smoother ones, try to make it. Uh, gotta make the bogey exactly the size of cracks. So right now, and union this, so it's just one. And we can change what you sh have to do: change the collision fidelity. Precise and should work. So, what you can do right now is make it smaller, and what I do recommend is Archimedes, and you can put it like that. You have your tracks. So, oh, yeah, and you have your tracks. You can do that and make the tracks. So the settings is base, you just click it and you click on the side you want it to be on, like perhaps like that. It's going down like that, you click on yaw. Um, if it's going outside like this and you want to change that, you go to alignment and you click inside. Just leave all the other settings as it is. You don't want it to mess up. And you can make your tracks like that. You can flip the axes and make it straight. So let's test it out. This may need some fine tuning, but it should work. Didn't anchor any of them. My bad. So you can just select all the unions out of here and do anchor. Just like that. And you'll have all your tracks beautifully placed. God damn it, robot. Okay. So it might be a problem with sliders. That. So you can just move this on these sides. Select it. You can move it exactly the you want. Oh, uh, don't want it like that close. So let me change the scaling a bit. That should so the train doesn't fall into the things. Press it out. That one seems to be too close. Let's do the same thing. Like this. That that's close, so we can a little gap right there. Oh, that works. 
Now our bogeys might be a bit too big. But we can just so uh, actually just separate all your tracks and that possibly. That's not the solution. They're not anchored. So let's test it out one more time. Should be able See, ring goes on the tracks. So it's not on the tracks. This will also work if you want your tracks to go upwards. Uh, So let me test it out and I'll show you more of the results. You uh, Roblox gotta fix your page layout. So if we test it out, see it goes smooth along the tracks and it should be up. That. So you do end up using this tutorial um subscribe or the like but if you want more tutorials like this just um comment below on what should what i should next maybe uh door openings or um some other features like gear shifting or throttle changes Thanks for watching.